Good afternoon, Central, and welcome to this week's WCHS. I'm Axton Lowe, your head anchor for this week. Up next, we have Casey Castle with the weekend weather. This weekend, we can expect sunny weather with temperatures staying in the upper 50s. So get out there and enjoy the sunshine while it lasts. That's all for your weekend weather. I'm Casey Castle. Good afternoon, Cougar fans. I'm Dale Conrad. And I'm Alice Laminga. The swim team has been doing an amazing job this season, so come out to DB on December 8th and support your Cougar swimmers. The basketball team will be taking on volunteer at volunteer, so be sure to come out and support. Also, good luck to our cheerleading team as they go to competition in Pigeon Forge this weekend. Well, that's it for this week in sports. Here's what's happening in our clubs. Key Club, National Honor Society, and Beta Club will be participating in the annual Toys from Cops event on December 12th and 13th. Sign up in Miss Marino's room. Beta Club will be volunteering at a local food pantry every third Wednesday for the next few months. For more details, you can see me or Miss Nephew. The band will be having its first concert on December the 10th. That's all for Club News. The counselors will be holding a FAFSA information meeting on December 15th at 6 p.m. in the Little Theater. Also, Tennessee Virginia Scholar Service Hours are due by January 15th. In Ms. Bagnell's psychology class, they are learning about the theories of motivation. One theory is that you are motivated by your instincts. The military draft has just ended. If you'd still like to participate, you can see Ms. Aker. They'll be announcing the first period winners soon. This Christmas, our HOSA club will be visiting Holston Elementary School for their pre-K class in which they will be adopting their class to buy a set amount of students Christmas gifts this year. If they are exempt from exams, they will get to go on December the 18th to visit and share their gifts with these children. It is a very nice thing for the community and I think it expands what we do as people. So thank you to the HOSA Club. Well, this week was full of testing and next week will be the same. So good luck to all test takers. Hello Sullivan Central, I'm Mr. Burris. I'm one of the art teachers here at Central High School. This week's project is we're doing a 4th century hand-stitched homemade book. It's actually called a Coptic Stitch and we're doing this in our Art 2 and our Art 3 classes and on the front as you look you'll see on some of these they have what is also known as an illuminated letter. This illuminated letter most of you probably have seen from a child's book when you were very small in fairy tales, when Once Upon a Time books, the O is a giant O and the following letters are much smaller. It comes from actually a tradition when people would do biblical texts or manuscripts and the only people that did them were the clergy or the people of the church. So we're kind of continuing on a tradition in the art room that has been around for a really long time. The, the term Coptic stitch, if you can look closely on these, it looks kind of like a fishtail braid that people would do in the cosmetology world. These are really fun books to do. I let the kids choose different materials to cover them, as you can see while we're zoomed in. This one actually is used old atlas maps. I know it's a thing of the past with smartphones. We have Google Maps, and people don't even use these anymore. But it's a really fun way to create an interesting design on the surface. Another example, this one's a, actually a corduroy material that they've used for the cover of their book. And the other books that you have here that we've selected for today's examples, they've used water lilies behind this one from the famous painter Monet. I'll turn it over and you can kind of see partial of that large painting. The rest of the books have a material called marbled paper, which is also an old form of creating interesting designs on paper that date back quite a few centuries. So we hope you liked today's little quick segment on what's going on in the art department and we would love for you to come down and visit or sign up to take a class next year. Have a great day. So this week's WCHS and I'll leave you with these words. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Have a great weekend. For your Cougar Swimmers. The basketball team wants to be... Beta Club will be volunteering at a local food bank. It's not a food bank. I'm sorry. The team has been doing an awesome job lately. Redo. Redo! <laughs>